Hello, I'm Ehsan. In this video, I want to talk about input capture in timer block. Uh, input capture is the most important uh, peripheral you can uh, use, and this is useful for uh, saving a month of something. For example, the timer start to count, and you want to uh, save the measure a special measure you must use input capture as a peripheral okay uh, this is the input capture and uh, go to the stm cube mix and make the project uh, yes access to mcu selector Choose your micro uh, STMF32 F103RE. I choose this micro and uh, yes, go to system core and system change to serial wire. After that, go to timer block and uh, to this uh, in the uh, in this project, I use uh, TIM2, for example, and uh, yeah, you can change the your timer, for example, timer 3, timer 1, or timer, uh, so on, you want to do it. Okay, click here, and then uh, go to clock source, same as timer, change to internal clock. Uh, input capture and timer is, uh, is really uh, similar uh, because uh, both of them use internal clock. Okay, go to channel 1 and uh, choose the input capture direct mode option. Uh, and then go to NVIC set uh, parameter setting and Okay, same as timer, the prescaler is 8,000 uh, <clears throat> and the auto reload register, uh, for example, I set as uh, 10,000. Uh, I want the uh, timer is uh, <clears throat> time until 10,000 or count uh, until 10. Thousands. After that, go to the polarity selection. Is the optional? You can use the right, uh, rising edge or <coughs> falling edge. Uh, uh, for example, I choose the falling edge. After that, uh, this is the input filter. is about bonds of key. I use that key in my project to capture the amount of the timer is count. Uh, and set as 15 as maximum you can use it and uh, go to nbic and tick the global interrupt in here okay everything is all right yes and uh, the name of project for example is in put cap Capture, input capture, and choose the MD arm. Go to desktop. I make a file input capture in here. Okay, and uh, code is copy only necessary library and generate the code okay open the project go to application user main.c and uh, add this code in your project and i explain what happened in the code okay at first we have the uh, interrupt routine in here and you can copy 
and add to uh, this part upper than uh, initialize. This is the uh, interrupt routine, and I explain that. After that, uh, use the input capture function and put it in here under the initialize and in white loop you add two lining here okay uh -huh. excuse me i need to uh Define it here. Okay, it's not important. And I, uh, for example, int cons. After that, int input cap chair. Okay, I think so. What happened? Yeah. Ah. Okay, input underline capture. Okay, everything is all right. Yes. Uh, this is the uh, interrupt uh, routine and IC. Uh, it means input capture. Uh, this is the callback, same as uh, the timer base interrupt. So we have a routine. Uh, in there and uh, other uh, routine you can use this and this uh, line I mean uh, 57 uh, it specify uh, which timer you use it and uh, 59 is that the function is about macro you can add this part hall on the line tim set counter set is you can uh, set, uh, you uh, set the this register uh, same as to zero. It means that, and the next part is here. Uh, I uh, e enable uh, routine interrupt of input capture. I see is mean input capture and which timer and which channel uh, as you show in STM CubeMX. After that, I Define the count and get counter same as the project the counter and uh, save to count and input capture uh, this is the uh, micro function and this is the compare uh, compare means uh, to uh, compare two of the thumb thing it means the save the uh, the number of counts okay go to STM and uh, this is the hall underline TIM underline IC underline start IT go there and you can see the function of that TIM uh, input capture handle and uh, the second one is about the channel for example TIM underline channel 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 other you can use it uh, this is the function as I say and go to projects and go to uh, option for target debug setting flash uh, tick this option reset and run okay and okay then compile the code We have zero error and zero warning, and then load to the board. Uh, after you program your board, you need to STM Studio program. You can download in ST website, open it, and okay. Uh, Right-click in here, go to option imports, and 
<clears throat> go to address of project uh, for example I uh, save this project uh, in the in my desktop and find it input capture go to input capture mdk input capture and this file import my project I found the count import and after that found the input capture and then it's import and close okay this is the change to table uh, left click here then right go to send to var1 again okay uh, run the project okay this is about to update st link is not important you can see the uh, my count is the counting and the input capture before i uh, push the um, press the push button i want to show my board what happened Okay, this is my board. This is the put push button for uh, input capture, uh, the counter. Uh, this is the uh, pull up, and uh, when I push it here, uh, this program uh, save the amount of counting input capture. Go to the STM Studio. Okay, here you can see that the counter is counting until 10,000 and when I push it this is the save the amount of counts okay you can see that save input capture save the amount or the number of counts as you see uh, Okay, this is about input capture peripheral in timer block. Thanks for uh, watching my video and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Goodbye.